This Lions Ward data issue is a reminder. Kabam still haven't fixed this little doozy of a problem. We look into that. Making me angry crystals got good pulls. And, but where's the compensation? I'm sure players were expecting compensation. World War Hulk and Daredevil 2022 by Nick Koss. And Kabam Zero is back with quality of life improvements. And we all rejoice. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the MCN for Friday. Yes. Control my brain, Mistress Bob. I'm just using your app. He has an app. So help me, Bob. I will in your litter box. We don't have a litter box. Not even Frank has a litter box. Where are you pooping to? I think my follow-up question should have been, how are you pooping? Because he's just ahead. And I don't need a follow-up Drax-based one. When are you pooping? Because that... People have their own cycles for. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get into some news, shall we? Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Do that thing now. Now, firstly, as a lot of you know, the Alliance War season is in full swing. The second time it's tried to get in full swing, and it's swinging well. But in any case, there is and are a few bugs going around, and there's one in particular that is a war rating and diversity information bug. It's really with the war progress section when you go and click on it, it won't give you the full information of diversity and as well can give you a mix up, mix up when it comes to what your war rating is because some things are not correct. Uh, and Kabam's kind of response to this is that uh, this one's pesky but it's entirely a visual bug. But uh, after the war, it should present the right value so you get the right values then. There's still a lot of stuff that needs to be sorted out with Alliance Wars. It's just an ongoing thing. Even me returning back to it after two years, it's kind of like it's it's just the same as it scuffy was when I, I left back when I did. But uh, here by um, the grace of carrying on, uh, we uh, you know we see what happens. Hopefully next season there will be kind of like some improvements. Kabam will actually get it sorted. But for the time being, don't fret, don't alarm. Apparently it's visual. Speaking with the subject of Alliance Wars and shout out to Cat Murdoch. Link is in the description to this right here. And what this is is attack slash defense tactics as presented in a fantastic way. You can see right now like how these champions are affected with different things. And uh, there's uh, expert middle tactics only, challenger all, and hard attack uh, attacks only, attack tactics only. This is amazing. Go and check it out in the link in the description, and it will kind of like it, this. This stuff is great. The work Cat does is absolutely amazing. These infographics are spot on. So uh, this is great. Just like I don't know, put it into some like helpful tabs, bookmark it. I, a lot of things that I do for Alliance Wars on my PC, I'll bookmark them just so I can return back to them. And especially as I continue further with doing Alliance Wars, I can have more of these type of things up just so I know what I'm doing, know where I'm going, know I'm interacting. And obviously for officers, very handy as well. Next up, moving on to the Making Me Angry Crystals. We've got a two-parter with this one, and that is first part is. It came back. So as a lot of you know, this falls in with uh, with the Del Delightful She-Hulk series, which um, isn't too bad. I'm actually relatively enjoying it so far. It's episode two, so it's very early to kind of get an opinion on the show just yet. But uh, it's definitely not the worst so far, and it's definitely not the best. For me, the best has got to be uh, Moon Knight. I still absolutely love that show. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll see how the series pans out as to like get a full opinion on it. But I, I like what I see so far, and it's good. But getting back to the point of making me angry crystals, there's a lot of you know there was problems with it, which kind of like link into this particular segment. But it's good to see that people are picking up some like really decent uh, stuff from this, especially because you get these kind of fantastic little Nexus crystals. And it's great to see a bit of luck from those particular crystals. That's the great thing. And you can see right here, you know, Killer Beezy got some amazing luck. I, I mean, he must have counted his, you know, his luck when he just opened up and thought to himself, hang on a minute. That's amazing. I've got myself a brand new shiny, super, super cosmic champion. That's right, four star Hulkling. Absolutely amazing. Picked up a four star Hulkling. <laughs> so funny. In any case, moving on. Why, why is this important? Why are you linking this in? Well, good point to this is that compensation was meant to be sent out. So back in last week, we had an issue where the Making Me Angry Crystal was delivering the incorrect pull. And some champions were in the pool that should not have been in the pool. I mean, you can see like there's perfect examples. And Kabam uh, Mike kind of like uh, said that this was this was an issue and definitely said that um, yeah, the kind of like it would be sorted, it would be corrected uh, for anybody uh, on that, and it would be done at a later date. Now we are what 
Is this a week onwards? It's definitely coming out. It's 10 days. 10 days onwards um, as of tomorrow on that particular subject. And now ask about Mika says here, this compensation should be distributing right now. Give it a little bit and you haven't received the crystals we started again, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, and someone says here, so I waited overnight and still haven't received anything. Do I need to put in a ticket? I would say if you haven't received your your compensation, do a ticket. The reason I further bring this up and why are you bring it up, Richard? Well, there's kind of a good reason for this is that someone says here, what about the, comp the compensation some of us didn't receive? For last week's offer, we thought they would come in waves, but never got them, as uh, says by um, SOS Remake. And so I don't know if this compensation has completely been distributed out to players. And I would say at this point, if Kaban Mikay in a previous post has said that this is going to be distributed out and hasn't been, raise a ticket because, you know, you bought those those crystals thinking it was going to be one thing and it turned out to be another. So yeah, do, do a support ticket for that. Next up, Nick Koss does a fantastic World War Hulk. I mean, there's a few other characters done here, which I need to kind of like raise and talk about. But the first thing is World War Hulk. If you saw episode two, you know there's a slight teaser for this. And wow, look, there's a thing, Future Foundation. So I love what Nick does, because Nick seems to put in like, loads of different other characters that are just kind of like, you just don't expect. So there's a thing, for Future Foundation. And also kind of going back to right at the very start, there's an Andrew Garfield. One thing that like Nick does is the attention to detail because this is very much similar to the body body type or body body structure and as well kind of like um, position feeting position that Andrew Garfield has as Spider Man uh, and especially like you know when he's kind of like he's there the shape as well for the head is on point so there's these little kind of like attention to details that are really good Nick also decides to put in a little bit of a, a Daredevil uh, 2020 so this is from uh, like She-Hulk uh, which has got the uh, the yellow and, yellow and burgundy which you can see on screen right now I'm really looking forward to seeing this coming to the episode as to like how it uh, impacts in the series and also for, you know seeing how it impacts the character Daredevil because the last time we left Daredevil he wasn't in a good state he wasn't in a good state at all. So I want to find out like what the what is kind of like the deal with that. In any case, World War Hulk done by Nick Cost. Fantastic work. Link in the description to his work. Now we end with the final story talking about quality of life improvement. So there's been many kind of like calls for things that are just not working when it comes to quality of life, how you claim things and how it doesn't really kind of go down to the rewards and how it's been a bit of a problem. And Kaban Mike said that this is going to be uh, addressed in a future update. We're saying this will be addressed in a 36.3. The claim button should take you to the correct spot when the fix goes out. Thanks for the suggestion. So that's going to be in, in the next update. But there's more quality of life improvements and the return of Kaban Zero. In a new update coming soon, which is 36.2. Hang on a minute. 36.2 versus 36.3. What's happening here? Hang on. Something's gone wrong where they haven't kind of like... Is Kaban Mika knowing about another secret update that's kind of like after the, this update? I, I don't know. I'm 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 in confusion right here um, as 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 to that. But uh, it it's gonna be coming. A fix and quality of life improvements coming. Any case, right to the core subject. What's going on? Stash count in hero consumable pop up. You can now view how many items you have in the stash in the hero consumable pop up. So here with the kind of select signature stone and stuff that may be uh, within it. We've added, in the book select, we've added a tab to switch between books more easily on the quest select screen. Should hopefully avoid having to go back and forth when trying to go to different books. Yes, that's a major one. Because I'm forever kind of like going, I just kind of click and I'm like, oh no, I've got to go and switch books. So it's kind of like, if I had like a better kind of book, um, kind of like, I don't know, alternating ability, then that would be really cool. And also, one thing I want to point out as well is this. Like, let's, zo let's zoom in right here on this. Do you see that? 10, nearly 10 million units. 10 million units. But now back to seriousness and back to the quality of life improvements. Ever want to quickly see how many champions you have at specific rarity or rank? How about knowing exactly how much class ISO you have in the stash? Well, now you can. We've added a little counter at... Uh, to all our sort of panel displays and how many items you currently have that's cool so if you've got like a, a stash kind of thing that uh, you can say how much of like different ISO is that's, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool to kind of like see that uh, open 10 button on crystal summary page okay so you can open 10 from there so you don't have to go all right okay cool so you can just like 
click open 10 click open 10 so that sorts out crystals a lot sweet and what else they've got some consolidation of inventory screen so we've moved the catalyst iso and inventory screens all to into one screen for more straightforward navigation good okay this means that there will no longer be a landing screen and we'll and clicking inventory the top bar will bring you to this screen each screen will have to have separate tabs oh wow look at that so i'm just going to get this kind of like zoomed in for everybody oh wrong one there we go look at that that's incredible so you're able to, to differentiate them from different places wow honestly that's spot on especially with the, the amount of crap that you literally have to go through in your inventory that is so streamlined I love that. I really do. This is definitely like some amazing work. It, whoever's kind of like the, the team that are kind of thinking about these quality of life improvements, if it's Kabam Zero and a team that's around it, whoever's involved with this at Kabam, well done. Like this is honestly like amazing work to kind of like see this. Especially like it's a shame that it's taking so long, but I'm glad that it's kind of like it's it's stuff that's now kind of coming to the forefront to be improved, to be more streamlined. Uh, I like it. I, I, I love it even. I think that's 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 great. Amazing work. What else? I think that's that's going to be it for the organization. Buff, buff node pop up available from pause menu and fight summary. Okay. Um, oh wow. Oh that's that's really good as well. One thing that I've had always a problem is sometimes I might go into something and like not properly read the notes. I mean, like we've all done it. So having those have ability to pop them up and that's going to be right there, which you can see. So if you click on to right there in the center of the screen, uh, just above music. Then you can click on that and you can see the notes, which, you know, obviously presented in uh, what we saw on screen right now. So you better kind of go down that and see the active buffs. That's great. And this is what it will look like in a fight summary. So you have to, as soon as the fight summary ends, you're able to see it. So that's, again, amazing. Amazing work. Yeah, I'm really excited. For these quality of life improvements have been great. I love the energy over 71 thing. I love so many other things like sorting out the way that you've got rank up gems for different years and other things like that. Man, honestly, I should really give it an awesome right there because it is awesome stuff. Yeah, this is. I think this must be my favorite quality of life improvements that I've been put in in a long time. Especially with this, the book, uh, the signature, like knowing what's in your inventory. It's great. Pop further 10, that can be really handy. Especially when you've got like old, I've got like about 3K crystals, crappy crystals. and it, But the problem is like having to like reorganize them or kind of trying to kind of like blast through them quickly. It's a little laborious. So this saves time right here. Love it. This is got to be my favorite. This is probably quintessentially, apart from the energy one, it's kind of on, on par. My favorite quality of life improvement because you go into your inventory and you want to organize stuff uh, or you want to know where you're going, going, okay, I need to sort out my signature stand. And you're always kind of like going between, there's always seems to be like some somewhere and all that like awakening gems and other stuff. There always seems to be like some somewhere and you're like, oh God, it's all mixed and matched up, streamlined. And I love it. This is a streamlined improvement that I absolutely mess with. Okay, that has been the show for today. What are your thoughts on some of these quality of life improvements coming in and all that stuff? Thoughts on the stories? And uh, thanks for coming by and watching. Thank you as well to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a patron. You're on screen right now. Thanks to those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. I should be live streaming later on today. Whether or not I'm doing MCOC, I don't know if it's going to be here on YouTube or Twitch. And then four guys later on in the evening where I go and solidify more wins. If you want to see me go and win, then come by because we get wins. And finally, do please check out some of the content on screen right now. Don't know if Kabam are going to announce anything later on. We'll have to see. If not, um, you have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing. I may post another video today. Haven't really decided on anything, but we'll see. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.